Hi everybody, this is Vitorials and today I'm gonna show you 5 ways how to create grid inside Adobe Illustrator. But before we dig inside our software, let's explore what the grid actually is and how it can help you to improve your daily workflow. First of all, grid is a network of uniformly spaced horizontal and perpendicular line that can help you to keep scene organized especially for modern responsive layout, enhance your visual hierarchy, helps you to create reusable elements, speed up your workflow and makes your multi-page layout more cohesive and last but not least makes life of your team members and collaborators much more easier. So we have these five other some reasons why we need to master our grid and let's do it right now here inside Adobe Illustrator. So, the first solution is uh, to use built-in grid in the site Adobe Illustrator. It's very powerful as well as, uh, as well as flexible and you can show and hide grid using the shortcut control and quote uh, or command and quote on your Mac. You can also go to the uh, view and uh, hide grid and all view and show grid. And you have also an option snap to grid that I uh, will discuss a little bit later. So, uh, why it's flexible? Because you can adjust almost any option of your grid here inside Adobe Illustrator. You can go to the Edit, Preferences, Smart, uh, Gwizant Grids, Gwizant Grids, and here you have a bunch of uh, options. You can uh, choose the color of your lines. Let's say I want to green. Then you can uh, switch between lines and dots. And uh, here you can also define the distance between the lines. What lines? Let me show you these lines. This one, two, three, four, five, and so on. And these rows here. And you can set the number of subdivisions, which is these small, tiny cells in between the lines. So let me set it to six uh, subdivisions and click OK. And we have completely different uh, view of our grid. We have 330 pixels, the uh, distance between our lines here and here. And we have only six cells in between them. So, and last uh, option that I want to show you is Snap to Grid. When you choose this option, you can work only in the, inside the intersection of your grid, only on your grid. For example, here I put the first dot, but I can simply go to this. Let me scale a little bit more. I can simply go to the center of my uh, cell and create grids here so it's not a viable for me i need to go to this intersection or here this intersection or this intersection i can even uh, go to the middle of the line of this grid so this is how this um, snap to grid works and of course it has its pros and cons next option is to build grid using guides it's very simple option so to Open your guides, you need first open your open the rulers, uh, control R or command D or go to view, rulers and height or show your rulers respectively. Then you need to draw, uh, grab your dear, uh, selection tool, regular selection tool and uh, move your rulers, your first rulers, let me unlock my guides here. And then set it, uh, align it for example to the a left side of my artboard and keep it selected go to the move tool and here I want to set horizontal value let's say to 160 pixels and vertical vertical value of course to zero click copy to produce a duplicate of this rule and then control D command D to repeat this operation for a couple several times then you can uh, select all of your rulers and then go to the move tool again double click on your selection tool set the for example uh, horizontal move value to 20 pixels and click copy to make a gutter so you have all elements of your grid here and build this grid in a second so and uh, last options that you have 
you don't of course want to accidentally uh, move your rulers or some uh, how to interact them but you build your design you need to go to the effect uh, oh i'm sorry you need to go to the view whites and lock your whites and now you can select them you can move them and you can interact with them our next option is to use rectangle uh, grid tool you can use it uh, in two ways first of all you can simply uh, hold left mouse button key and drag from one end to another end and then you can adjust your number of columns and the rows with the arrow keys you can use up and down arrow keys to define the number of rows and you can uh, use right and the left arrow keys to define the number of columns then you need to release the left mouse button here and uh, here you are you have your grid and next option you can let me delete this grid you can double click and set the values here the width and height here the number of dividers uh, be patient it's dividers so if you set the number of dividers to let's say 12 you achieve the 13 columns not 20 columns and click OK and then a click on your artboard and click OK again align it to the vertical and horizontal center of your artboard and you have this kind of grid you can uh, adjust the transparency of this grid and you also can make a very smart scene with this grid you can set the, the stroke value of this grid and let's say you want to apply the stroke only to inside and let's say I want to stroke my stroke to be 12 points then I uh, want to go to the object uh, and uh, path and outline my strokes all of my strokes and then a uh, swap fill and stroke and here you have this gutters so you can uh, make even gutters using this rectangular grid tool our first options is uh, for most advanced grid building and uh, many designers has argued this is the uh, only option they need in Adobe Illustrator it's uh, ability to split the object into the grid let's say you have an image in your design web design or graphic design and you need to place their uh, text or some design elements icons menus inside this image button or you or you want to divide this image into the thoughts you have a very uh, neat and uh, very handy option for that. So, cover this image with the rectangle, set a um, fill or uh, stroke for this rectangle, and then go to the object, path, and split into grid. And here you have a bunch of options. You can set the width of uh, number of uh, rows. You can uh, adjust the width and height of these rows. You can uh, set the number of columns. You can adjust the height of these columns. And uh, you can set a width and height of the gutter uh, separately uh, for rows, for horizontal gutter, and for vertical gutter for columns. So it's a very, very, very flexible uh, thing and very advanced thing as well and uh, you can choose the preview you set up a grid very nice and very beautiful grid and you also can add a glides that goes far beyond your image and the last option that i want to show you here inside adobe illustrator is the option how to create this solid column grid and this option is very portable very a uh, nice option if you want across the multiple artboards and you can simply go to the uh, click alt and uh, copy your your grid then select the support select your artwork and then align it horizontally and vertically and here you are you have this kind of grid and you can copy it in the any uh, number of artboards you want so, if you want to create this kind of grid, you need to start with the uh, rectangle tool or click M and then you need to set create rectangles uh, here in, in our transform panel. 
here I want to set the, the width of our rectangle to 140 pixels and the height of our rectangle to uh, 10 80 and then I want to align it horizontally to the left to my artboard and uh, go to the effect distort and transform transform and here through the bunch of options I want to select the option with horizontal move value and change it to 160 pixels and set the number of copies let's say to 7 to create a 8 column grids so we have an 8 column grid with the 20 pixels gutter between them because the distance is 160 pixels and width 140 pixels. So we have this kind of grid. We can adjust the opacity of this grid. I prefer to work with the 25 to 30% transparent grids. And then you can uh, align it. But uh, to align it properly, as you can see, this kind of align only this parent uh, column, you need to uh, first expand the appearance of this grid and then you can align this both horizontally and vertically. So if you like this tutorial, do not hesitate to thumb up, subscribe, share it with your friends. Thank you for following to the end and have a nice day. I will come back to you very, very soon.